Hey guys, it's your boy the B-Modest Gamer and welcome back to another edition of the Southampton FIFA 15 career mode and how are you guys doing? It is good to be back with Southampton. I love them so and man, they are just kicking ass. They're even putting a whooping on my boys at Manchester United. What is up with this? But as you can see right here to give you guys an update, we are going to be having two matches quickly back to back and we're going to be welcoming back some of the old schoolers J-Rod and Schneiderland are coming back as you can see we got a match against Crystal Palace followed up very shortly with a with about with West Bromwich Albion and hopefully we have enough depth to deal with both of them we're going to go ahead and sim it forward and look at this people Uruguay get out of here get out of here man I ain't leaving Southampton they my boys them a boys bro <laughs> and as you can see we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the monthly scouting report got some decent decent oh that guy's gonna be pretty good 76 to 94 man that could be pretty good we're gonna go ahead and advance it how are you guys doing are you guys doing well it is a lovely lovely thursday where i'm it's probably friday where you guys are going are you guys enjoying the new content are you enjoying the fut content if you guys haven't checked it out i started the packs to glory and here we are Southampton versus Crystal Palace. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. This is gonna be a good one, this is gonna be a good one. As you can see, we are in fourth place, trailing Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester United. And we definitely cannot have Liverpool or Manchester United win the title. No, no, no. That was my pledge. At the beginning of the series, we can't have another Southampton player win this title. Before we do, we must win it. Go, Abad Musa, the newest signing. Can he do it? He has done it in the fourth minute. Ahmed Musa, the Musa monster. Oh, no, 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 no. Just getting all up in there. That was way too easy. Way too easy. What were the defenders doing? Oh, man. They were just laying off way too much. And Ahmed Musa, the Musa monster, making him pay. Going near post. The keeper just... Mm, uh, that was not very good on their part. But they would respond in kind. Crystal Palace was not going to take this. Lying down a nice little back heel right there. Flicks it. And almost onto goal. And a great, great header away by Rudiger right there. And we were back on the attack. Southampton playing it over the top. To Zerkovic, who powers it, and a little bit of dinky dinky luckiness right there, and Zerkovic is taken down! What an atrocious tackle, the little bit of skill and dribbling right there, and Zerkovic has earned himself a penalty, I'm gonna give him the penalty, the big number 35 in Southampton, red and white stripes, can he do it? Steps up, top right! Top right, as always, you know how it is on this channel, Zerkovic! Is doing. Oh, this one's allowed. This one's allowed. They don't have any rivalry with Sturge and Liverpool, so uh, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. I don't know why I keep on doing that. I'm just trying new celebrations. What is your favorite celebration? Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite celebration? And what is another celebration as Jambo Browse almost gets on the board, but unfortunately, Zirkovic was offsides, and that would allow Crystal Palace to get back into the game. You see, just Terrible, terrible defending right there, and a great save by Scuffet, and a great last-minute clearance by Mane right there. Will he hold on to his starting spot? I know a person who got a starting spot and is showing the greatness of what he can do with the Zirkovic number 35 with another goal in this game. And I know he he had a lot to do, but what, check out this pass. Picture perfect, splitting the two defenders by Ahmed Musa, the Musa monster supplying his new strike partner. Yes, I played Zerkovic above Hector Vallaba in this game. I, I wanted to play a kind of little, you know, the tall clinical striker and that one speedy striker on the side to see how it's working, and it is working out very, very nice. But Crystal Palace were not to be done off the post. They were threatening. They were saying, we are not going to go down without a fight. And the 45th minute, they almost pull one back. And it would have been an interesting game, but ahead, three goals and halftime does not look very promising for Crystal Palace. And we are on it in it to win it money going forward taking the shot off the crossbar and we cannot feel it on to the other end of it oh money money trying to hold up james ward prowse trying to keep himself in that starting lineup can he do it as you can see here we are bringing j-rod and the big bad bouncer in to see this game out in the 72nd minute and this is J. Rodriguez's return. Can he get something going? Can he show us a good run of form? I mean, his spot was pretty secure, but then Mane has been playing quite well too. And look at him just running in there. And Grimaldo 
flashing it over the top of the goal. Not his best work, but he's left back. What are you going to do? And as you can see, Bahuli into the game. 88th minute, laying it off to the Ahmed Musa Monster. The Musa Monster cuts past to Zerkovic. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, a nifty little goal by the Musa Monster right there. But watch Zerkovic right here. They just like... <laughs> <laughs> trips of all the oh Zerkovich, you silly, you silly man, you Ricardo, get up, get up, you fool! And there we go, we are gonna win this game handily, 4-0, flying high. But unfortunately for us, all three teams above us win as well. So we are gonna stay in that fourth place, and we have the quick turnaround only a day away, and we are fighting against West Bromwich Albion. These are always the toughest games. I hate these games, to be perfectly honest. And this is why depth is just so important in these career modes. These are really the games that make or break your season. If you can win these quick turnaround games, then you can win in the season. And this is what we have to do today at the Hawthorne Stadium. As you can see right here, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester United all winning. Well, actually, I can't see Manchester United right there, but for us to keep up pace we have to get points come on young lads jay rodriguez into the starting lineup can he do something here he wins he just wins past everybody it falls to mapai who's starting in this game and uh, not very clinical with the head but mapai sees cardenas over the top can he finish it right at the keeper oh what a beautiful over the top ball but we couldn't get anything here and there we go west brown driving sessignon with a snapshot right at scafu and that is how the halftime would end. Seeing Valamba right there, but Mapai not the tidiest of passes, and we would go into the halftime. Not much going on in that half. Could we get something going right here? Hector Valamba cutting through, getting taken down. Penal, penal, help! Oh my, how is that not a foul? How is that not anything? They didn't get anything but Valamba right there. What is going on? How is that not anything right there? This is incredible. Valamba cutting inside, and wow. That was just awful. I know he doesn't have much of a right foot, but ooh, oh! And in the 60th minute, I really wanted to win this game. We're bringing in Tanich, the Musa Monster, and Snyderland. Oh no, we're taking out Snyderland, and we're gonna see if we can get anything going right here. Hector Balava linking up with Ahmed Musa, the Musa Monster, in really tight spaces. Going for taken down. What? How was that not a penalty? <laughs> He got nothing but the ball in the penalty area, and it wasn't a- oh my god. But oh, it doesn't matter because Amamu said the Musa monster is away. Close it out, and he misses. How did he miss? Oh my god, this- EA really just didn't want me to win this game. What is going on? As you can see right here, 93rd minute, can we get it? And Bulalba! Oh! This game sometimes, man. This game sometimes, man. 93rd minute. We weren't gonna get another chance. Or were we? Tadic gonna cut inside, get the ball taken away. And that is how this game would end. We are gonna drop points at the Hawthorns, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted, I wanted this game so bad, but you saw it. I got taken out so many times. The ref, I don't know how much West Brom paid off that referee. My goody goodness, man, we were robbed in this game. We were robbed indeed, and hopefully this has not come back to bite us. We got three more months to go into the season. Hopefully we can overtake Manchester United and Liverpool. And oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this foul fest. And yeah, um, to give you guys a little bit of an update of what is coming up, I'm going to be doing more of the fun stuff giveaway. I'm going to have a really big pack opening on Sunday when all the Team of the Year players are in, are in packs. And I'm going to be opening them up live on Twitch during the Man City Arsenal game. So go ahead, tune in for that. And if you guys haven't done it before, leave a like if you like this episode. Subscribe if you haven't before. And as always, guys, remember, stay humble. Don't do this, Logan. Give me a blue card. Fabregas. We get Fabregas. Who's not even 85? But a good card.